life today. And when I say cleaning up your life, I mean everything, not just your toilets. We've got to clean your brushes and all that stuff we use on our hair every day yeah. as well. Because those brushes get gross, don't it's they? It's January, combs, brushes, colons, they all need cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> right? Why not? Why not? So, uh, this is so easy, and you own everything you need to do it. Okay, So That's let's go news. with a couple of different kinds of brushes. This is a very common brush that everybody uses, this little vent yeah. brush. These are plastic. They tend to get hair lint. They tend to get just not very Stuff nice. They don't they there. don't get a lot of hair in them. So you can usually just do something like this. Yep. But this is your best friend when it comes to cleaning a brush like this. Oh yeah. And good old fashioned shampoo, what you already have. Oh, good. Now, don't use your $30 shampoo from Paris, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Use the stuff you bought the kids. Or the stuff right. you stole from the hotel. Or the stuff you stole right. from the hotel. The gift with purchase. Right. The, it came in the mailbox, Free whatever. Samples. And seriously, it's all the product that you get in your brushes is the product you use on your hair, which is all water soluble. Right. Right? Okay. So a little toothbrush, get in there, you want to clean that out, you want to get all the sort of nasty stuff out. Okay. Same thing with these brushes that have a metal base in them. This can get really sort of full of stuff. Now, the best way to get the hair out first is with a comb. Right. Okay? This one's not very hairy. Here's a good one. I ha I think dirty uh, brushes are disgusting. They're so gross, and I look at that, and I just want to oh. take that comb and get that hair out. I can't wait to do it after I do my daughter's it hair. It drives me mad when yeah. I see dirty brushes. And you see, this is just an old comb, and look what's coming out. Now, it's I do want to tell you, though, this is a natural bristle brush. Never wash it. Never wash Never it. wash your natural bristle brush. When you buy a new natural bristle brush and you hate it because it won't go through your hair, yeah. because there's no oil in it. Oh. So what you need to do when you get a new brush is you want to actually, let's just throw that away. Let's go. Um, you actually want to use, if your hair's a little bit dirty, yeah. use a natural bristle brush and brush your hair. Get the oil from your scalp into the brush. It'll soften those bristles. Okay. And it'll never get tuggy again. But as soon as you wash it, you wash the oil out. Got so it. this is the only one you don't want to you don't want to wash. It needs okay? a good coat of oil. It That's needs an, the whole a good point. coat of oil. But the other ones use shampoo. These right. brushes like this, the same kind of thing. Yeah. These brushes, if you get the water in there, you want to dry them like this. Okay. You don't want the water sitting underneath the, the soft pad. So okay. it's, it, 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 that's, it depends yes. on what the pad is. Exactly. So if so it's this hard pad, it doesn't really it make, doesn't a, matter. make a difference. These ones, like this again is a natural bristle brush, so I wouldn't wash it. This, is yeah. a, this one is a combo, so you can wash it. But yeah. you don't want water sitting under the pad, so you do it like that. Okay. Okay, but again, just with shampoo. Now. Good to know. See, it's driving me nuts. See? I have to do it. See, I know. It. I know. Um, so curling you, irons, flat irons. Uh, wands, all those things. All those heat instruments. They sometimes, they get because gucky. you use them day after day without washing your hair, you get that sort of nasty coating on them. Yeah. Right? And that, again, is just your hairspray, your, your relaxing balms, your oils, all yeah. that kind of stuff, right? So I don't want you to use shampoo on them. I want you to use nail polish remover. Oh, or, interesting. Yeah. Or you can even use... I hadn't heard that one. Yeah. You can use rubbing alcohol. And you just take a, a cleansing pad, which most people have, or a cotton ball, and you yeah. just do this. Now, we don't tend to get it in the salon because we tend to use our, you know, your hair's been washed, and so we don't get that it's sort clean. of stuff. But when you do, and you'll see sort of on your flat iron, that ridge right along there, yeah. this will just take it right off. And I just don't uh, want you to start all of a sudden putting shampoo on your, you know, and water on your electrical, you know, right. tools. It's not good. Yeah. So do and, that So don't do this it's... in the tub. <laughs> Well, it's plugged in. Um, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, you do that when it's cool as well. Yes. Right? yes. Like, wait for it to cool you down. Know, we forget sometimes we have to state the obvious, don't we? <laughs> don't do this when it's hot. No. But a little bit of, see, even even the little bit for, that we get from yeah, the salon, it's it. going to take off those little tiny bits. Yeah. And it really will prolong the life of Good. your of your brushes, combs, the same kind of thing. You know, we have barber side at the salon. But you could just can take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You want to get those all that gunky stuff out. Mm -hmm. And again, you can just soak a comb like that. For sure. And then right? they're fresh and ready to go for the and next time you need them. And Listen, we spend a lot of money on this stuff. If you've got good absolutely. brushes and good instruments, absolutely. you have to make sure you're taking you, care you know, of them. These brushes aren't... Ugh. <laughs> no, that's a bad one. These brushes aren't disposable, right? No, these they're will be, not. These will be anywhere from $25 to $60 brushes. The same yeah. thing, you know, anywhere from $100 to $200 for, for your tools. Take care of them. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing, just... just the other thing I want to mention is don't wrap the cord around. Oh, really? Right, because it puts stress on here, oh. and the, the, that's the first thing I'll go. So never wrap okay. it around like that. If you've got to, if you got to use it to travel. Were do you that. doing it wrong too? Okay, good. <laughs> Everybody totally does. Was. Bill, thank you so much. Pleasure.